Storm water matters, because when it rains, it drains. Remember, storm water is the largest source of pollution to our San Francisco Bay. What starts on our streets ends up here. How do we stop making our water sick? The answer, by minimizing the volume of stormwater runoff that flows off hardscape and maximizing water infiltration into soil where toxins decompose in the dirt and clean water recharges our aquifers. Let's conquer volume reduction first. Take a look at the hardscape around your home. This includes your roof, driveway, and walkways. Gutters should be cleaned so they don't overflow to the hardscape. Downspouts should not drain the hardscape or the street. This water should be captured on property. Downspouts should send water 8 to 10 feet away from your foundation by means of dry creeks, French drains, redirecting the downspout away from the hardscape, or elongating your downspout to organic areas. Driveway runoff can be captured in a trench drain. This keeps runoff from going to the street by diverting it laterally to your landscaping. It can be quite beautiful directed into a dry creek or a rain garden. Other ways to minimize driveway runoff include using pebble for parking areas, various forms of drive strips, or stone, pavers, and concrete in conjunction with plants. These Los Altos homes chose pebble over an asphalt transition from driveway to street. This home removed the asphalt connection between the driveway and the street and replaced it with pebble. And these homes went all natural with pebble driveways. And finally, take a look at your walkway. Walkway edges should allow lateral flow to organic areas, and for this, the possibilities are endless. A permeable walkway is best. This includes concrete in conjunction with plants, rock step dividers, or go all natural with all pebble. So let's rock on, pun intended. As you have already noticed, rock and pebble are heroes in this story. You've maximized rain capture, minimized volume to the street, now let's tackle the dirty water of street runoff. We may love the rain, but the fish hate what's on the menu. They want that nasty street runoff to decompose in soil. To the rescue, our city right of way. This is the parking area in front or surrounding your property. With simple adaptations, the right of way can transform from draining rain to capturing rain. Before you do anything, though, pause to call North 811. Simply dial 811 to schedule a free home visit from all utilities to clearly mark lines such as gas, PG&E, and sewer. You don't need to be there when they come, and it might take a couple weeks. But this information is critical to plan before you dig. Begin by looking at your right of way from the street. Take note of mailboxes, utility poles, and large trees. Look upslope several houses and downslope. Rain flows off the street to the front edge of one home, heads downslope picking up volume until it finds a storm drain. Hardscape in the right of way does not allow for soil infiltration. Your property can be affected by hardscape upslope, just as runoff from your property can affect your downslope neighbor. Hardscape includes asphalt, rock-hard dirt, granite finds with excessive binder material, curbs, gutters, and swales. Even the flattest streets have a slope to a storm drain. This rain is easily captured by providing a slight grade to flow the water away from the street edge into an organic right-of-way, such as pebble, bark, granite finds, and good old-fashioned dirt. These allow for slow it, spread it, sink it. The right-of-way can be graded into a soft U-shape to both direct water away from the street as well as away from your property. If needed, a rain garden can be added at the downslope edge. Perhaps the rain needs a bit more direction. 
Soil cuts are simply shallow, mini trenches to guide the water where you want it to go. The soil cuts might angle water away from the street, giving the water more ability to spread out and sink. You can also run these horizontally if that appears to be the need. These can be filled with pebble or another material of choice. Erosion in long-standing puddles suggest excessive stormwater runoff. With this in mind, the Los Altos water team took on two projects to demonstrate green infrastructure resolution. Project 1 was chosen as it sat between asphalt upslope and a muddy puddle mess downslope. We first installed a trench drain with a catch basin at the point of water entry from the upslope hardscape. A rock channel covered in filter fabric drained to a 5 by 8 foot area of highly porous compost. In the end, all that was visible was a small catch basin and a planted area. The second green element was a rain garden on the downslope edge of the property to take care of whatever didn't go into the French drain. A shallow, wide soil cut was made to divert water into a wide but shallow hole. We use the dirt from the hole to fill the huge puddles and create a small berm to direct water into the garden. Caution tape kept the area safe for pedestrians as we observed the rain garden following several storms and made adjustments to maximize capture. When we were satisfied with the results, to find a significant water in the garden and minimized flow to next door, we filled the garden with bark so it would not be a pedestrian hazard and surrounded it with California native plants. Here it is nine months later. This was a fairly straightforward project. We learned water needs little help to go where you want it to. We learned that just because a right of way is dirt doesn't mean it is doing the job to capture water. This dirt right of way was rock hard, which means prior to this project, runoff was basically bypassing two right of ways and settling in one neighbor's yard. This next project was a home with runoff from several properties of hardscape upslope, causing erosion along the street edge. Erosion at the street edge is a hazard to pedestrians and a detriment to street integrity. We started with a large hole dug on the upslope part of the property. A dirt swale was formed to direct water into the hole, the hole filled with the next storm. The hole drained, was enlarged, and filled again with another storm. It was fortunate that significant storms followed each revision. Once again, caution tape kept the area safe. The hole was further expanded to compensate for lost volume in anticipation of being filled with rock. It was then covered in filter fabric in preparation of being covered in bark. Erosion along the street edge was rectified by adding and compressing dirt to form a natural swale to drain water away from the street edge. This provided a seamless transition from street to right-of-way and directed water towards the center of the right-of-way into the rock catch basin. Any excess water flow to a second catch basin added at the downslope of the property. The result? a natural organic frontage with a hidden rain capture drainage ditch under the surface, allowing for parking and safe pedestrian traffic. Keep in mind, these two rain projects were capturing rain from multiple homes. That's an unsustainable ask. If we all chip in with some form of rain capture, we do ourselves, our city, and our waterways a great service. Retrofits need a little logic and a little muscle, and rain capture is easily incorporated into new construction. A rain garden is simply a fancy term for a shallow depression in the ground, from inches to a couple feet deep. They are often whimsical in shape. They give runoff a place to hang out as the water seeps in the ground. Plant choice reflects how much water the area will get year-round. A bioswale is a fancy term for a long and linear depression. These swales are organic in nature and not to be confused with hardscape swales. Bioswales can be very shallow or very deep. They can be filled with plants or rock such as a dry creek. And just like rain gardens, they allow the water to pool and seep in the ground.
A bioswale under the surface, filled with rock, is simply a drainage ditch, much like the rock catch basin demonstrated earlier. These can be installed horizontally under the right of way and covered with beautiful finished materials such as rock, pebble, and granite finds. A right of way with a hidden rain captured gem. And curb cuts, they simply allow rainwater to exit the curves into vegetated areas to capture the rain. While other communities are moving to the intentional lack of curbs, our community is ahead of the curve. The abundance of organic right-of-ways is a windfall opportunity to capture rain. Imagine if our right-of-way parking area were all a gently graded bioswale. If our streets were dotted house after house with some element of rain capture. Einstein said, we cannot solve problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. It's time to change the way we think about rain. Capture rain where it falls, and don't forget to call 811. And please email the Greentown Los Altos Water Team with questions and suggestions.